Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. In this video, I will be discussing the Accenture interview experience. Now, this interview happened on 20th June 2021. Guys, this is the fourth part of this interview experience series. First three parts are already uploaded on the channel. So, guys, make sure that you watch those parts as well after watching this part. The link of all the parts are given in the description box. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe it as well as join my Telegram group also because I post regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions we're getting asked in them. So guys, make sure that you do not miss those updates and are present in my Telegram group. Okay, so guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so the branch of my friend was Electronics and Telecommunications. The date of the interview was 20th June 2021. The duration of interview was 30 minutes. Okay, so the first question that was asked from him was again repeated question that is the introduce yourself. So this will be the question that will definitely be asked from you. So in this particular question, you have to mention only those skills in which you are comfortable in. You can mention your hobbies as well as uh, regarding your projects and internship in this particular question. But make sure that you only include those things in which you are comfortable with when asked question. So my friend answered this question and he told him about his journey from non-coding background to coding background using python so basics on this basis you can also you can also define your introduce yourself but make sure that you only po only tell those things in which you are comfortable in now the next question was he asked about my project again in accenture in every particular interview experience you have been noticing that this particular question has also been asked again there are total four types of question which can be asked from project first of all the explanation of the project then what are the difficulties faced during the project how you encountered those difficulties and last is what is the future scope of your project so again these four types of questions can be asked from project but when you are asked about the project then you simply have to explain the project and you have to explain the technologies that that are working on which their project is working on now the next question was how would you manage if your one team member is not available again guys in previous interviews also i have told you that there are many situational questions which are asked in Accenture interview. So these questions do not have a correct answer, but they depend on the thinking of the candidate. So the answer will be different for every different person. So in this, you can say that if you have a team of four members and now one member is not available, it means now the team is left with three members only. So you can simply divide the time, divide the time among three members equally. So this, this is what you can say to the interviewer. Plus you can add your things also if you had such, if you have some good points. Now the next question was, what, what is the difference between C and Python? Now why he asked the difference between C and Python? Because C, C is the most commonly used language and Python is, uh, Python was asked because he mentioned the Python in his introduce yourself. So again, I have told you that the questions can be asked from introduce yourself section also. So difference between C and Python. Now, first of all, C. So in C language, variable declaration is required that like int a, float a, uh, like string b. So these are the type of declaration which is required in C. But these, uh, the variable declarations are not required in Python. If you will simply give a is equivalent to 1, then the data type of a will become integer. But it will not be the case in C. Second point, the C language does not support OOPS concept. So we all know that the C language do not have OOPS concept. That is, there are no principle of polymorphism inheritance or certain things in C language. But on the other hand, Python does support the OOP, uh, Python is the object oriented language and it supports all the properties of OOPs that is polymorphism, inheritance and ma many more. Now, C language is faster than Python. Similarly, if talking about Python, Python is slightly on the slower side. This is this can be again a good difference between these two languages. Now, the la last point here, you can say that there are limited built in functions in C. But we all know that in Python, there are large amount of built-in functions which can be used. Entire machine learning libraries are built in Python most of the time. So Python has a large variety of built-in functions as well as built-in classes, you can say. So these were the basic difference in C and Python. Now, the next question was, what, what, is, what are the real life example of machine learning? So guys, from my friend, machine learning, uh, real life example of machine learning was asked, but from you, simple, the uh, real life example of data structure can be asked or real life example of IOT and certain new technologies can be asked. So for this example, that real life example of machine learning, the examples can be image recognition, speech recognition, medical diagnosis and prediction. So these are the real life example of machine learning where machine learning can be, can be implemented. Now the next question was about my hobby. So again, 
this uh, this question also very uh, the answer of this question also varies from candidate to candidate some likes to play some likes to play some likes to listen some like to read books so again it is totally dependent on you that what are your hobbies but guys again do not just tell things that you have to answer because if you tell that let's suppose you uh, say that i like to read books so he can ask the interview can ask you which was the last book you read by whom it was written and what was the summary of that particular book so again do not lie to any question in in an interview just be honest if you do not if you do not have any hobby which is very rare you can simply say you do not have a, have any hobby now next was where do you teach physics and python now this thing he has mentioned in his resume therefore he asked so again your resume is very important thing in your interview you must know everything that you have mentioned in resume don't just write things to fill up the resume just write those things in which you are comfortable in because when asked a question through from resume and if you are not able to answer that it will put a very bad impression on the interviewer so make sure that you do not lie in your resume and you and you write only those things which you have done in real life okay so the next question was what is dbms again it was a random question but again uh, there can be questions from oops also there can be questions from uh, basics of oops basics of dbms because i have told you that accenture only focuses on situational based questions mostly so this this is also a basic question from dbms what is a dbms so we all know that see first of all the full form of dbms is database management system now we all know that we have lots of data and how we can handle it how we can handle the data we can simply handle the data using dbms now there are certain examples of dbms like sql is there like many more things are there in dbms so dbms helps is us in managing the data they help us in storing the data updating the data inserting the data deleting the data these are all the system these are all the things which are dbms allows us so this is the basic this was the basic definition of dbms now the next question was do you know html and css so my friend didn't know html and css so he he simply said no that he doesn't know so guys again i have told you earlier also that you should be honest in an interview if you will say yes you know then and and if he asks the questions and you are not able to answer them then it will again put a very bad impression on him or her so again be honest clearly say no to a question you do not know don't try to make up stories in an interview so this was the last question last question which was asked from him and the next question that was asked from him was any questions for the interviewer so guys whenever this this particular question is asked from you you should never say that no i do not have any question for you because if you will ask the questions if you will ask the questions to the interviewer regarding the company then it will show show the interviewer that how much this job means to you that you really want to go into this company and you have a prior knowledge for this and you want a prior knowledge for this company so if you will ask questions it will definitely impress the interviewer and it will make your selection procedure more easy so guys these were all the questions which were asked in this interview i hope you liked the video and you got to know the question level of the questions which can be asked so guys this was part 4 more more interview experience has already been uploaded on my channel so make sure that after watching this video you are watching those videos also and guys please subscribe this channel and please join my telegram group also the link of the telegram group is given in the description box so guys thank you for watching this video